Welcome to the training on coding for hackers, a self-learning approach. In this session, we will discuss bash basics using for and while loop. Let's get started. As far as loops are concerned, loops have several different mechanisms which we can use in bash in order to repeat a loop. Primarily, the for loop and the while loop are the most commonly used and useful. Both ultimately have similar results carried out in a slightly different way. While the for loop we can work with through a list completing an operation on each item in it. For example, you can make use of a program somewhat like this. You can make use of for keyword. You can create a variable files within a media file and this will be treated as a media. This could be a path or the number of contents available in that path and these contents will be stored into your files. Then finally, between do and done, we can execute our required commands and here in the required command we are executing echo command and we are printing the content of the files variable. So what we effectively did here was to build a very primitive version of the ls command to show us the files and folders in a directory. In the first line, for files in media we set up the beginning of our for loop. Here we set up the variable we will use to contain each file within the files variable and we point at the particular directory and directory contents we will use this particular directory var log. We will take some more examples as well. The do and none statement define the beginning and end of the activity we will be taking on each file or directory we find and between them we echo the value of the files variable we defined earlier. With simple modifications we could use such a simple script to walk through an entire file system looking for documents that might interest us making a copy of them as we went. So now what we want to do is let's perform this script on our console. We are using Kali Linux operating system 4.9 version. So let's get started. I'm going to create a script let's call this for script.shell. Now within this script what we have to do is we have to use the hash bang slash bin slash bash we are going to execute for keyword I am going to create a variable known as files in a media file so within this media file you have to specify the media which you want to put into your files variable so in case if you want to define in a path you can make use of slash path or you can define any of the required path which you are interested so let me just use control o first at the moment control x to close and I would like to show you the path of the current directory the path is slash home ec2 hyphen user so as soon as we selected this particular path it has got copied we'll use nano for script again and within this nano for script we'll go to this path in the media section i would like to paste the content so if the content has been pasted somewhat like this only ec2 hyphen user will be stored into files in case if you want to store all the contents which are available in the directory you have to use somewhat like this slash user slash and then you have to specify star now this star denotes that all the contents within ec2 hyphen user directory will now be stored one by one into files in form of a list so once we are done with this we are execute do finally you are going to use echo command and you are going to print the contents of your files variable and finally you are going to define done so this is how you can make a simple implementation of ls command within the current directory or a directory in order to search for home ec2 hyphen user moreover you can make use of the arguments section and using the arguments you can quickly check the contents of any of the files so now we are going to use control o to save this for script we'll use control x we're going to use change mod 755 for script in order to make it executable and now we are going to execute it from the current directory for script dot shell and once we execute that so now you can see that now my for script is capable of printing the contents of all the files and items available within ec2 hyphen user and one sample command would be an ls command which quickly represents the information so this is how using bash what you can do is you can quickly get a list of all the files available in the directory and you can print that using for loop now we'll proceed to the next section in this we will implement while loops so in order to proceed further you can also make use while loop which will continue to execute while its condition is true we can use the while loop to carry out a command a certain number of times for instance you can create a hash bang then you can initialize it with a variable zero finally you can execute a while loop within this while loop you have to specify the condition that if the value of i 
is less than lt stands for less than 4 then we are going to execute this block and within this block we are going to print something like a hello keyword and finally we are going to increment the content of i so here what we are doing is we are getting the value of i we are incrementing it by 1 and whatever value has been received we are going to store that value into i so this is how this is what we are going to implement in so in this case we have introduced a few new things and used a few we already talked about on line number 2 i is equal to 0 we have initialized the variable we will use on the next line we do this in order to set the variable to the value of 0 as we will be using it as a counter so this is a counter for you i is equal to 0 on line number 3 we set up our while loop while dollar i is less than 4 so this is your while loop we you have implemented the while loop with proper spaces make sure you use the proper spaces while you are implementing the script and this is the while condition where i is less than 4 finally what next we have to do is this means that while the value stored in i is less than 4 we should keep executing the while loop so till the value in i is less than 4 we will keep executing this while loop we then see do and done structure the same as what we used in the for loop earlier in this section inside the loop we echo hello and we increment our counter i so this is what we are doing echo hello and we are incrementing the counter here this says take the value presently in i and add 1 to it then place the result back into i ultimately adding 1 to whatever is in i at the time so now what next we want to do is we are going to implement this script so this will be our while example so we are going to use nano while script.sh and now within this while script.sh what we have to do is we have to define our first script bin bash now what we have to do is we are going to initialize a variable 0 and this we are setting variable i as 0 now we are going to implement the while loop and within this while loop we are going to define a condition if the content of i dollar i is less than hyphen lt 4 then what we have to do we have to do something we have to do the following we are going to print echo let's say we are going to print the contents somewhat like instead of hello let's just print in hack with them so now what next we are going to do we are going to increment the variable so i would like to change the value of i is equal to dollar i let's just put the dollar since we will be accessing the value dollar i plus one so this is how we are going to increment the value of i and finally we are going to define done so as soon as the increment is done the while loop will execute our commands until and unless the condition has been false so now we'll use control o save it so till this condition of while is true we are going to execute the following block and in this we will be executing these two statements now use control o to save it control x to close it use change mod 755 while script in order to compile this and now use while script in order to execute the program so once you execute that so since we have specified the condition 4 we have got hack with a printed in form of a while loop for the 4 time so now this is how you can quickly implement for loop and while loop in bash shell i guess now you are clear with the section with the topic of loops using for and while and in the next session we will be proceeding to further concepts in bash basics thank you so much for watching the session